Hey YouTube and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the English words that mean something completely different in Italian. Before getting into it, I wanna let you guys know that this video is sponsored by italki, the language learning platform that connects language learners with language teachers, has a lot of great resources and features to allow you to basically have private lessons in whatever target language you want from the comfort of your own home. So I'm going to be leaving my link for that in the description as I always do. And you guys should really be sure to check out italki. The first English word that means something completely different in Italian is body. In English, body means corpo, it means your body that is attached to your arms and your legs. Whereas in Italian, when you say body, you're actually referring to a piece of clothing, a body suit. So you can say, per questo outfit metto dei jeans e un body bianco. That would mean a white body suit. Second English word that means something completely different in Italian is the word box. In English, box means scatola. Box means, I mean, punching somebody, which it can also mean in Italian too. Box can mean a variety of things in English, but one thing that it doesn't mean is garage. In Italian, when you say box, the first thing that somebody is going to think about is a garage, the place where you put your car. Funny story actually, the other day I was eating out and it was a really casual setting so the owner of the restaurant had his like seven year old kids helping to take orders and stuff. It was actually quite cute. So I had some leftover food. I wanted to ask for a takeaway box or you know, a box to take my food away. So I think an adult might have got what I meant, but since it was a little kid, they immediately, they had no idea what box was. They went and they asked their parents and their parents were like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, he thought that you meant garage and was quite confused. So yeah, box actually means garage in Italian. Who would have thought? Another English word that means something completely different in Italian would be stage, or the correct pronunciation would be stage because they're taking it from the French meaning. When you hear an Italian say stage, they're not talking about a palco, they're actually talking about an internship. So in English, we would say internship to represent, you know, that period of time where you're working as a slave for free. Another English word that means something completely different in Italian is the word phone. To be fair, in Italian, it is spelled differently. In Italian, it is spelled like this, while in English, it's spelled like this, but they're pronounced completely the same. I remember when my Italian exchange student first came to stay with me in America, and she asked me to use the phone. And I was pretty confused because the situation didn't really merit a phone and she had a cell phone and I, I was just why in the end phone meant hair dryer blow dryer in Italian so when you hear an Italian talking about phone and if asking you if they could use a phone they're probably asking for a blow dryer and not a telephone this I guess comes from the fact that phone is a type of hot wind and so if you think of it that way it totally makes sense, but for some reason in English, telephone became telephone and we shortened it to phone and we use phone in a completely different way. Yet another English word that means something different in Italian is top. In English, top can mean a child's plaything, top can mean a blouse, top can talk about the positioning of something, you know, the pen is on top of the table. Whereas in Italian, and correct me if I'm wrong, this might just be a Milan thing, I don't know if it, everybody in Italy does this, but top means great. Like somebody will say, ooh, that's top, to mean that's great. Ah, questo outfit è top. Questo film è top. Questo locale è top. They use top so much and um, yeah, that's, that's what they mean. They don't mean blouse. They don't mean child's plaything. They mean awesome. I would love to know where that one came from. Does anybody know the etymology of top in Italian and why it evolved to mean that? Another English word that means something completely different in Italian. I double checked with some other native English speakers, got some second opinions, and I'll say that this one does vary based on region, based on country, because my British friend said that they understand this word more or less like Italians. And I guess since they like invented English, Whereas my friend from the southern part of the United States 
where she pretty much thinks like me starting off, but she can understand where scooter comes from. She can understand the connection between the Italian sco word scooter and scooter. So what does scooter mean? In reality, in English, where I'm from, small town, Connecticut, where most people have cars, most people travel by cars. If they don't have cars, they have motorcycles that look like these. A scooter is this thing. Which is very different from the Italian scooter of this thing. Are you sure you know how to drive this thing? This is Rome. Nobody knows how to drive. In English, if I wanted to refer to the Italian scooter, I would most likely say Vespa. After Vespa, I might say moped, even though it's not exactly a moped. After a moped, I would probably say motorcycle, even though it's not exactly a motorcycle. But scooter has always been, in my mind, this thing here. See, my friend from Southern United States says that for her, she would first think Vespa, but then think scooter. See, so. It varies, but personally for me, Scooter has always been this, and I always found it like kind of a funny mental image when they would tell me, when Italians would talk about going away on their scooter, and I imagined a grown adult on this thing. There actually are grown adults that travel around on this thing, which is another cultural difference, but that's another video for another day. Anyways, an Italian scooter is obviously this, whereas in English, a scooter is this. So the last English word, which means something completely different in Italian, honestly, I'm not even sure if it's actually English. It might be Italian and we just named it something else. And it is bimbo. In Italian, bimbo means a boy child. Whereas in English, it means a dumb person, typically a female. So if somebody calls you a bimbo in English, it's not, it, it's not a compliment. It's kind of an outdated insult. And if somebody calls you a bimbo or a bimba in Italian, they're not insulting you. They're calling you a sweetie or child. But I don't, do people really go around calling adults bimba? I think boyfriends sometimes call their girlfriends bimba or piccola, but you know, that's neither here or there. So yeah, you guys, that's it. My list of seven American words, <clears throat> seven English words that mean something completely different in Italian. What do you think? Do you think I missed something? Do you have anything to add to the list? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to know your thoughts. Also, if you know the etymology to any of these words, why they evolved to mean this or that in English or Italian, I would be super interested to know I think that's gonna be it for this video you guys. I hope you liked it as always Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next one Mwah.